All right, guys. Just to answer any questions you may have on draining the radiator, which I didn't cover in my first series of videos, um, this is how I do it. That's usually a pretty good way to do it. In fact, it's the only way to do it, really, with the help on a hose. Um, what I do is I take the radiator cap off, which allows the system to breathe. And then under here, let's see if you can see it, that little thing with the butterfly shape to it. That's the actual petcock for uh, taking the, as soon as you unscrew that, it'll uh, drain the antifreeze out through that hole. In fact, I don't know if you can see anything dripping off that or not. And then I just have it going into a bucket. From here, I usually like to drain the block. I'm not going to do it on this one. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclamp the hose from here, from the actual head. Now I'm going to take the lower radiator hose off of the radiator and I'll move it up here and uh, kind of contain the system there. Then I'll pull the, the longer hose off of the, the heat um, or the switch from the heater and I'll pull it over here to this hose. Uh, let's see if you can see it. That, that hose, which is the uh, return from the heater or the push, whatever. It's one of them. And uh, that'll contain the antifreeze within the uh, block of the car or block of the motor itself. Now, as you can see on this one, I'm working with an automatic. I haven't covered an automatic yet, so I'm going to do some tonight. But what you have here, main difference is, is the actual engine mount is different because the transmission sits up higher. So there's only two bolts that hold it in. And instead of pulling the mount, I'm going to pull these two bolts when I get down on the ground. Um, the, also down here on the uh, torque arm, there's uh, two finger around the hose. There's two bolts down here that uh, disconnect from the transmission, but I'm just going to pull the two bolts on the mount itself, which is the same as the manual one. I'll try to videotape that a little bit better underneath there with this new camera. And also you have these two lines that come down and they feed into the radiator. And those are transmission cooling lines, there's actually a cooler within the radiator itself. And uh, usually what I do with those is I can drain part of the system through that. And then I'll loop a hose around, you know, to, like take this side off and loop it around this one and, and clamp it. And then uh, I also drain the, the transmission, which you can't see right now, but uh, I'll cover that in a minute, in a bit. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same deal as the other one. Because the, the, the mount over on this side and the mount in the back are pretty much the same. It's just this transmission mount that's always different. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how much more I can get on this. i got to get it done pretty quick here, so I don't know how much filming I'm going to have to do with it. So, Alright, catch you in the next video. Bye.